Which side are you on? As Lenny Robredo and Bongbong Marcos declare their candidacy, it appears like our country is dominated by strife and debate. People have been fighting over the best president to be elected. But let me ask you, who do you prefer? BBM or Pink Lenny? What if I'm on BBM side and you're on the other side? Are you open to discuss why I want to vote for him? Could you still respect my decision despite our differences? Or you're just gonna unfriend me on Facebook because you hate me already for voting BPM? We are frequently a group of persons arguing about proper method to do things, proper actions to take, and proper beliefs to hold. There are many points of view and they frequently contradict one another. But some of us have been lacking in being open-minded, understanding, and, or in short, couldn't respect others' opinion. To say that you're respecting other parties' opinion, well first, you should understand that we all live differently. And we're gonna build a connection and understanding if we're open for criticization and education. Being different or having different insights is not bad. Honestly, this kind of things are those things that need to be addressed because different perspectives lead us to the best ideas. Since the focus should be geared to the diversity of thought regardless of the social group. This findings illustrates that when individuals from the different walks of life come together and share unique viewpoints, positive result increases. So, being in an argument is not all about fighting or being mad. It is about opening and to remind you that your feelings are always valid, your opinion is always valid. Without diversity of thought, innovation is thwarted. Initiatives may stall, and you alone cannot save your own organization. So you need to approach issues with a number of perspectives to be able to see the whole truth. Being different is okay. Having opinions is okay. Criticism is okay. So let us all open up, speak out, voice out, and let our words be heard.